<laughs> why? Why? Is Sony making a bit of movie? Why? Why? Is it in an MCU? Why isn't it? Oh. All right, so time for the question you've been asking. Why are they making this Venom movie? Drum roll for this very complicated answer. It's for money. All right, guys, have a good one. No, no, I, I'm joking. Okay, well, I'm not joking about the money portion. I'm joking about this being it. They are making this movie for money. Sony as a company, as a corporation, they're not in the financial places they once were, especially their film division. Their film division is not doing well at all. Now, when they have this huge property, this billion dollar property known as Spider-Man, I think that's what he's called. I don't know. I never heard of him. You know, not like I have a channel about him or anything. <laughs> when you have this property worth billions of dollars, you want to make money from this property. So they said, you know what? We see that Marvel has their own universe. Spider-Man is a character with so many characters within his story. That's the sentence I was looking for. I got it. That we don't need to be with Marvel because, I mean, if they were to be with Marvel, the potential of them making money would be a lot lesser because they'd have to split the bill or some kind of weird stuff. So they decide we're going to make our own universe. And this universe was going to take place within the amazing Spider-Man franchise. And that didn't go well because the critics were not pleased with the sequel and Sony did not make the amount of money that they needed to make for the sequel to be considered successful. So now you're in a rock between a hard place and you have a property that is worth billions of dollars but people ultimately are showing that they do not have trust in you handling said property they keep saying they want to have this character with the other characters in the marvel cinematic universe you're in between a rock and a hard place financially both figuratively and well okay not literally it's it's pretty figuratively well no it's kind of literally because then they had to fire their man their, their actor so i guess it is no it's not a, it's not a rock well i mean so then they decide we're gonna make a deal with marvel in which the spider-man property can exist within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But the issue then arises that whenever Spider-Man is in a Marvel film, a film that is not made by Sony, Sony gets approximately zero dollars and zero cents. They don't make a penny whenever Spider-Man appears in anything else. So now, what do you do? Well, I mean, you can make your own Spider-Man movies that will be within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's what they're doing with Spider-Man Homecoming and the rest of the movies that will take place within that franchise and within the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Sony will pay for the film and make money from the film but guess what they have the final say sure but Marvel is ultimately the ones that are calling the shots they have the creative control with the Spider-Man movies within the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it is the Marvel Cinematic Universe so now you have this character this property that you're making money from whenever it's a film that you produce but your character whenever he appears in a film that is not produced by you you are not making money from this and you are financially in pain but have no fear Spider-Man is a character that makes more money in comparison to any other superhero and even when you put all of those superheroes together spider-man as a property makes more money when it comes to merchandise than any of the other superheroes so sony should be good with that right wrong because they sold the merchandising rights to marvel in 2012 because they were financially not good they were just it was, they're not good they were about to go bankrupt and it was pretty bad actually and they needed the amazing spider-man 1 and men in black 3 to be successful in order for them to stay afloat and the amazing spider-man practically saved sony's film department so now what do you do? You don't make any money from any of the Spider-Man merchandise, which makes billions of dollars. You only make money from ticket sales. So you have to make movies. 
that's it. You gotta make movies. You have this billion dollar property. You gonna make your billion dollars. You feel me? So you gonna make a Spider-Man movie here and a Spider-Man movie there. And then when you have this huge craze beginning, or at least they think a craze is beginning, <laughs> we'll see if that craze actually pans out when their movie comes out. But you have this rated R superhero film thing happening and you have this character that is beloved and is a part of this billion dollar property. So the thought is, hey, let's make this movie and let's make this money, you feel me? And then the fans will say yay or nay. And currently people are going, hell no, we won't go because they want it to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But it's not a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of two things. Number one, it is Sony's movie. Sony is doing what they want with their own property. It is their property and they'll do with it as they please. If it's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it will be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, meaning Marvel will call the shots. And guess what? Papa Sony ain't trying to have their son. Yeah, okay, well, it's actually the other way around. I guess Marvel is the papa and Sony is the son because they have the rights. But I mean, well, t I mean, whatever. They don't want to have somebody telling them what they can and can't do to their own property. Okay. Second thing, they are trying to make a film that goes in line with the rated R craze. Marvel ain't making no rated R movie in a cinematic universe, at least until the Infinity War franchise is over. Yes, I said Infinity War franchise, meaning the, f the two, uh, two Avenger movies, okay? You know what I'm talking about. They ain't making no rated R superhero movie until those movies come out, and I do think they are making rated R superhero movies eventually. Yes, I do. So, with that being said, <laughs> Sony is like, hey, we gonna do what we want with our property, and we gonna make our money huh you feel me and that is what's going on so they get tom hardy this huge superstar this superstar that makes tons of money every movie he's in makes so much money because the fans love him and he is a successful a-list actor and then they get the director of zombieland who is a, a director and he's made uh, zombieland i saw that movie i didn't see any any of his other um movies uh, and he's kind of a comedic director, but he's a good director. At least I saw Zombieland and um, and he's a great director because every movie that he's making, the world has seen. Um, yeah, so they get these two together and they get the writer from the Jumanji reboot sequel movie together and they get them all and they're going to make this, this Venom movie. This rated R Venom movie has gonna have some comedic elements in it, and uh, it may be a little lower budget, and uh, it's gonna be the start of the Sony Marvel Universe. Mm. Mm. They didn't say Spider-Man Universe. They, 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 they said Sony Marvel Universe. What is what is what does that mean? Um, well, I, I guess that that means that maybe they can use Marvel characters within their I don't because they the deal perhaps they traded I the email said something about they could use two characters in a Spider-Man movie but this isn't a Spider-Man movie this is a Venom movie but that was within the Spider-Man property so is that is it okay you know what I'm not even gonna think about that I hope I answered your question I think we're done here right I think we're done right wait a minute oh okay okay All right, okay this uh, yeah, we're not done. Okay, so that's this is my next video. All right, because because that that what what do you? Okay, so people think Spider-Man's not going to be in this movie. Well, I'll tackle that in my next video. Oh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you new like and hit the like button if you like the video. And I thank you all for watching. And Venom Two Million saying peace.